Hi everyone, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into a reading for the sign of Libra. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you guys would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. We're going to start off with messages from the Super Attractive Deck, okay? Messages for our Libras, please. True manifestation are powered by service and love. You get what you give type of energy here. All right. Helping others, loving others, giving your love and help. Um, when I am in a state of appreciation, I am in vibrational alignment with my true love nature. So when it comes to love, do you appreciate yourself and appreciate the love that you have in your life? Like the love from others. If you feel under underappreciated. Or well, if you don't appreciate the situation that you're in, you're out of alignment. Period. Let's move on. Messages for the sign of Libra. What messages do you have for the sign of Libra, please? What messages do you have for Libra? King of Swords. Have you thought about the things that you wanted to do? Are you clear about the decision that you're making? Did you receive all the information that you needed to receive? Are you are you so gun hold on the idea that you have or the way you want to live that you're not open to what someone else is saying or how they want to live or how they want to do things? Are you open to others opinions the sun card here at the bottom of the deck are you willing to hear the truth are you willing to reveal the truth are you willing to show the truth more messages for the sign of libra the four of swords there you are and this is this was my reasoning for doing a reader for you guys in the first place because i asked the question like who's reading should i do next and then i got received the four of swords out of another deck so i said okay here we go libra we have the ace of wands you guys healing you guys taking a break, taking some time alone, um, thinking about the things that inspire you, receiving inspiration, the magician card. Was it? What is it that you want to manifest in your life? Are you being clear headed once again about the uh, um, about the decision that you're making? Will you will you sleep peacefully after making those decisions? We have the six of swords. Someone's thinking about moving on. Someone's thinking about getting away. Excuse me, you guys. So someone's thinking about moving. Someone's thinking about getting away. The tower card here at the bottom of the deck. There is a sudden shift, a sudden change in one's life. This Scorpio energy. Someone wants to get away for sure. The eight of cups underneath that. Having the strength to move on. To let go of things that um, are uninspi uninspiring. And things that are becoming complicated and confusing. Um, someone is ready to close out a painful cycle here. Be aware of quickly leaving a situation that you didn't heal from and moving on to another situation that you might end up getting yourself hurt more in. What's the King of Swords for the sign of Libra? What's the King of Swords here for the sign of Libra? We have the Hierophant teaching and learning experience. Taurus energy. Like, you're being watched, you're being, being guided. We have the five of pentacles. You feel like maybe you don't have enough, a lack of energy. You feel like you're missing someone or someone is missing you. The world card, this cycle is closing. Learning some cycles or learning lessons where you feel like you're alone or feeling like you don't have that support. So you're learning some lessons in the midst of that. For, um, someone may be gifted with a, a new job opportunity. Um, someone is taking a break on it. Someone's taking a break when it comes down to your career or whatever you do financially to receive finances or whatever. But I feel like you're being led to do so. What's the Four of Swords? Clarify the Four of Swords, please, and thank you for the sign of Libra. We have the Two of Pentacles going back and forth. Yeah, someone's going back and forth on if they should leave a situation alone or continue to push forward. Something is impulsive, though. Something maybe risky. In and out energy. 
you, you focus on something, you get to working on something, and then you pull back and you start doing other things. And then you end up feeling like, oh, man, I don't have enough. I don't have enough time. Um, is this worth it? What's the Ace of Wands? The Six of Pentacles, that equal give and take reciprocity. We have the um, Emperor here at the bottom of the deck, Divine Masculine Energy. So there's an idea that's coming to you that you can put your, some work into and, and receive um, something back. So being patronized here. And, but, oh, someone can have so much more, but they're holding on to this masculine energy, whether it's in within yourself or someone around you. Hmm. Or this, this is something about you taking the initiative. What's the six of swords? Hang hey, man. Gaining a new perspective. Seeing things differently. I said something about that ten of swords. That painful cycle. Feeling backstabbed. Feeling betrayed. Having to close that cycle out. Learn, realizing why you went through the certain lessons that you learn. Realizing what you went through. Realizing um, the lessons that you've learned. There we go. Understand like why you have to take some type of losses here. What's the hyphen? The Queen of Pentacles, luxurious. Capricorn towards regular energy, temperance, hard waiting patiently. Ten of Cups, I guess for that type of lifestyle or balancing yourself out so you can have that lifestyle. Someone knows that they want to be married. Someone want, someone knows that they want commitment. But there's also a knowing that someone needs to heal. There's also a knowing that you have to give in order to receive. Appreciating oneself, appreciating someone else, appreciating the blessing that source gives you. What's the hanging man? The Ten of Wands. Carrying these burdens, like I said, understanding why you went through what you went through. Understanding that you can have so much more. Seeing your ships coming in. Anything else for the sign of Libra before I leave it? The Tower card. So there is a divine intervention here for Libra. And so it's asking you to have the strength to get through this, to see the light at the end of the tunnel, have every new hope and faith, knowing that you are supported, you are protected. Um, this is about maybe you creating boundaries for yourself. What's the Tower card? Come about the Tower. Why is it here? Scorpio energy. Something flipped over. Let's see. If I can find it. Here it is. Nope, that's not it. There it is. <laughs> the full guard came out. Yeah, this is a sudden shift, divine intervention for you to go towards a brand new beginning, for you to do things differently. Or someone had to made a um, risky decision, a foolish decision, the source is coming in to um, shake things up. What's the full card? This could be balance. This could be source source balancing someone out after being super impulsive so you're becoming more grounded the three of wands seeing your ships coming in seeing the new beginnings coming in seeing the changes happening here could be love here we have the king of cups it could be a cancer Pisces, scorpio energy but things are definitely changing for you guys i see you may be worried about the changes or whatever but they're happening this is about looking at things differently Appreciating all times, even the bad ones. So let's go into to the Oracle and see what messages come out for Libra. What else do you have for the sign of Libra? More messages for Libra. All right. What message do you have for the sign of Libra? Thank you. Wish upon a star. You can have what you want. Beautiful uncaging. Uncaging at the bottom of the deck. Unlocking your heart. But let's read. Wish upon a star. I like this card. It's pretty. <laughs> Intentions based on your desires and aspirations. The act of consciously committing to a vision. 
sacrificing something of value, gambling on yourself, trusting that dreams can become reality, the importance of daydreams. Do you believe your dreams can become real or do you shrug them off and shide yourself for being unrealistic? What if you can trust that the world around you holds promise you have not yet realized? Perhaps the point all along is not how something can happen, but the power of wishing and intending. We humans have multiple ways to ritualize owning a dream we want to see manifest in physical form. Think of a wishing well. You infuse a coin with your intention, tuning in to the feeling of having a particular experience. Tossing the coin into the well symbolizes the act of letting the how go. Walking away and allowing the universe to do its part in the co-creative partnership. Another method is to wish upon a star. In doing so, you also look back into our origins, for we are made of stardust. Today, allow yourself to dream and play with different realities, even if it seems impossible. If it calls you and feels good, why not choose it? Wish upon a star, then live as your wish were already true. Know that those beautiful dreams and, and know that those beautiful dreams you have been nurturing are in the process of becoming real. Don't forget that the act of wishing, dreaming, and intending is more important than figuring out the how. It shows the universe you're serious about playing the game of life and, you're, and you trust the essence of the partnership. Remember, every dream you believe in and hope for is a call to a twinkling star. The answer will come sometimes swiftly, sometimes slowly. No wish is ever wasted. That's beautiful. That was your reading, Libra. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated. How it resonated, leave your like, shares, all of that good stuff. I love y'all, love y'all, love you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.